Hello everyone, welcome to the video on Niper Current Affairs. In this video, I am going to explain about genome editing which is known as CRISPR-Cas9 technique. The 2020 Nobel Chemistry Prize is awarded to this technique. Uh, we are going to see about this in this video. And in this video, I have included also uh, female Nobel Chemistry laureates and finally there is a word about BT cotton. This is my channel. Recently, my channel has crossed 55,000 views. Thank you all the viewers. Let us get into the topic. Now see, in October 2020, the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences has decided to award the Nobel Prize in Chemistry 2022, Emmanuel Charpentier and Jennifer Doudna. For what? For the development of a method for genome editing. And the prize is 10 million Swedish kronas. Kronas is Swedish currency. Now understand, what you need to remember is, this is the institute which will award Nobel Prizes, the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences. Now who got the prize? Emmanuel Charpentier and Jennifer Doudna. Emmanuel Charpentier is from Max Planck Institute from Berlin, Germany and Jennifer Doudna is from University of California, Berkeley, USA. The method is, for the development of the method, genome editing. The award is 10 million Swedish kronos. This will be shared by two of these awardees. So you need to understand and remember these things. Moving to the next one. So the Manuel Charpentier and Jennifer Doudna, these are the two. Now the uniqueness with this prize is, for the first time, all female science team is honored with the Nobel Prize. That means, there are very few women, around 60 women in all the categories of the Nobel Prizes who received this prize. Only 60 women. In chemistry, there are only seven women. And in seven, this time, for the entire chemistry, these two, all women to him, is awarded a Nobel Prize. So this is the uniqueness with this Nobel Prize. Uh, now the, the tool is, tool for editing genomes, uh, it wins Nobel Prize for chemistry. More details. Now, see, the tool is commonly known as genetic scissors, a tool for rewriting the code of life. Now look at this, these two researchers have discovered one of the gene technology sharpest tool. And what is the tool? The tool is known as CRISPR-Cas9. They are known as genetic scissors because this is editing our DNA, hence it is known as a genetic scissor. Now, what is the advantage of this? Using these researchers can change DNA of animals, plants and microorganisms with extreme high precision. Understand these things. Let us see one by one. DNA of animals, it includes humans too, plants and microorganisms with extremely high precision. Why this is required? If the precision is missed, it results in mutations. If mutations are there, you cannot use it to edit DNA. Because of its high precision, you can use it to alter the DNA and this technology has had a revolutionary impact on life sciences. Why? Because it contributes to new cancer therapies and it can be used to cure inherited diseases. Now understand the powerful of this tool. It, it has got extremely high precision. Because of its high precision, you can use it to alter DNA. Now where it has got used, it can be used to treat cancer and it can be used to treat inherited diseases. Inherited diseases. In future, we will have all these technique related tools. Now the other things. Now see, uh, what has happened is, see the discovery of these genetic scissors was unexpected. In technical terms, it is known as serendipitous discovery. Like Alexander Fleming was accidentally discovered penicillin, this tech tool is also discovered accidentally. What has happened is, Emmanuel Charpentiner was studying Streptococcus pyogenes bacteria. Now this bacteria caused a lot of harm to humanity. Now she discovered a previously unknown molecule known as a tracer RNA. Her work showed that this tracer RNA is part of bacterial ancient immune system, this CRISPR-Cas9, that disarms viruses by cleaving their DNA. So basically bacteria has developed this tool. And what is the use of tool? to kill virus, to disarm virus and the tool name is CRISPR-Cas9. What happens is bacteria has developed this genetic scissors which will go and cleave the virus DNA. 
the virus dna is cleaved virus will die and bacteria can survive and this is what is accidentally discovered by emmanuel charpentier and she collaborated with jennifer doudna and come up with this extremely useful tool called as crispr cas9 tool looking into the details now see this crispr cas9 is a short form of the c stands for clustered r regularly i interspersed s short p palindromic r repeats so crispr stands for clustered regularly interspersed short palindromic repeats cas9 means crispr associated protein 9 so cas9 is crispr associated protein so this is what is meant by crispr cas9 remember this this extended form it can come in examination crispr cas9 let us see the technique now see the cas9 protein forms a complex with a guide rna in a cell in fact we call it as crispr cas9 is a combination in this com cas9 is an enzyme crispr is a kind of guided rna what do you mean by that imagine say you have a dna like this dna has got nucleotides uh, imagine it has got a adenine guanine thymine cytosine bases now guide rna means if you want to target this zone of dna you will get a complementary pair of rna adenine combines with uracil see in rna you don't have thymine it is uracil and guanine combines with cytosine thymine combines with adenine cytosine combines with guanine so this rna is known as guide rna because it selectively goes and binds to this part of this dna so this guide rna is combined with this cas9 enzyme and that is given into the cell and because of this guide rna it goes and ex exactly combines with this complementary dna so this is the white portion is enzyme and the site is directed by this guide rna once it goes there the cas9 rna complex cuts the double strands of dna see this here the double strand dna is cut now once it is cut either it can leave as such or a program dna can be inserted here this is what is called as genome editing and this editing is possible with the help of this crispr cas9 the reason why we call it as it is extremely high precision you decide wherever you want to cut the dna if you know the sequence of this dna you make a complement of this rna it will exactly goes binds there with high precision and cause the cuts now in details so this is what is given in noble uh, uh, site page so see this is guide rna and this part is cas9 enzyme so it is given inside and it goes and cleaves this dna now once the dna is cleaved you can get two kinds of result one the dna can repair itself in most cases this leads to the genes function being turned off that is silencing the genes why it is required if you see about cancer cancer is because of oncogenes oncogenes will continuously activated and that is what results in uncontrolled cell division by using this technology you can silence this oncogene and the genes are turned off cancer can be controlled this is what is the use of crispr cas9 at the beginning i have explained there are two major uses one you can treat cancer by using this thing second chance you can you can introduce a new template in this dna see here is what the cuts of dna are there and you can introduce this this new dna into this and this new dna can treat inherited diseases inherited genetic diseases can be cured by changing that dna and repairing it so this is what is the major use of this crispr cas9 technique one you can treat cure you can silence the oncogenes two you can introduce a repaired dna which can cure inherited diseases so remember these two advantages of this technique moving further now so you can get designer baby see by using this technique you can get whatever the muscle you want you can have a good earring sensation no baldness you can have high full of hair high iq can be designed low risk of alzheimers and complete vision so this is a dangerous kind of thing people if they start using this technique they get whatever they want and it has happened this man his name is he jian kui he made designer babies in china
without without any moral conscience he he made genetic alteration in in two babies and that resulted in a, a greatest moral conundrum what has happened is he has created two designer babies and because of that he is now in jail because these experiment on human beings are unethical it is not allowed yet so this is the problem with this technique now let us get into the female nobel prizes in chemistry there are only seven as i told you these these two women we have seen they received nobel prize in 2020 for their research on genome editing now the remaining one see mary curie she received nobel prize in chemistry in 1911 remember she bagged two of the nobel prizes one for chemistry another from physics both of them she is the only woman to bag two nobel prizes and she is the first woman to get a nobel nobel prize in female category and she discovered radium and polonium for that discovery she received this nobel prize she she is from country poland to give credit to her country she named that element as polonium now after that in 1935 irene joliet curie she is the daughter of mary curie she also received a nobel prize in chemistry for discovery of new radioactive elements after that now dorothy crawford hodgkin she is from uk in 1964 she was awarded nobel prize for her work on determining biomolecules using x-ray technique now after that ada yonath she is the first israeli woman to win nobel prize in chemistry for recognition in 2009 of her pioneering work on structure and function of ribosome so her area of research is ribosome remember she is the first israeli woman to receive a nobel prize Next, Frances H. Arnold. She became the fifth woman to be awarded with Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 2018, and the and the topic her research is directed evolution to engineer enzymes. So all these seven, there are only seven women who has received Nobel prizes in chemistry till date. So you need to remember the names of the women and the area of research. Last but not the least, there is a word about B. T. Carton. B. T. in bt carton bt stands for bacillus thuringiensis now bt carton is a genetically modified cotton crop so this is a genetically modified cotton crop it expresses an insecticidal protein which is derived from soil bacterium bacillus thuringiensis because of that it has got the name bt there are so many genetically modified things are there and bt carton is very popular among them this is not related to crispr cas9 one I, i have just included to make you aware of genetically modified cotton so thank you for watching this video if you like the contents do subscribe